Construction engineering is a professional discipline that deals with the designing, planning, construction, and management of infrastructures such as highways, bridges, airports, railroads, buildings, dams, and utilities. These engineers are unique such that they are a cross between civil engineers and construction managers. Construction engineers learn the designing aspect much like civil engineers and construction site management functions much like construction managers. The primary difference between a construction engineer and a construction manager is that the construction engineer has the ability to sit for the professional engineer license whereas a construction manager cannot. At the educational level, construction managers are not as focused on design work as they are on construction procedures, methods and people management. Their primary concern is to deliver a project on time, within budget, and of the desired quality. The difference between a construction engineer and civil engineer is only at the educational level as both disciplines are able to sit for the PE exam giving them the same title of engineer. Civil engineering students concentrate more on the design work, gearing them toward a career as a design professional. This essentially requires them to take a multitude of design courses. Construction engineering students take design courses as well as construction management courses. This allows them to understand both the design functions as well as the building requirements needed to design and build today's infrastructures. Work activities, depending on which career the construction engineer has chosen to follow. An entry-level design engineer normally provides support to project managers and assist with creating conceptual designs, scopes, and cost estimates for the planning and construction of approved projects. It should be noted that a career in design work does require a professional engineer license. Individuals who pursue this career path are strongly advised to sit for the engineer and training exam while in college as it takes five years postgraduate to obtain the PE license. Entry-level construction manager positions are typically called project engineers or assistant project engineers. They are responsible for preparing purchasing requisitions, processing change orders, preparing monthly budgeting reports, and handling meeting minutes. The construction management position does not necessarily require a PE license. However possessing one does make the individual more marketable as the PE license allows the individual to sign off on temporary structure designs. Abilities, construction engineers are problem solvers, they help create infrastructure that best meets the unique demands of its environment. They must be able to understand infrastructure life cycles and have the perspective to solve technical challenges with clarity and imagination. Therefore individuals should have a strong understanding of maths and science, but many other skills are required including critical and analytical thinking, time management, people management and good communication skills. Educational requirements, individuals looking to obtain a construction engineering degree must first ensure that the program is accredited by EAC or Technology Accreditation Commission of the Accreditation Board for Engineering and Technology. A BET accreditation is assurance that a college or university program meets the quality standards established by the profession for which it prepares its students. In the U.S. there are currently 25 programs that exist in the entire country so careful college consideration is advised. A typical construction engineering curriculum is a mixture of engineering mechanics, engineering design, construction management and general science and mathematics. This usually leads to a Bachelor of Science degree. The BS degree along with some design or construction experience is sufficient for most entry-level positions. Graduate schools may be an option for those who want to go further in depth of the construction and engineering subjects taught at the undergraduate level. In most cases construction engineering graduates look to either civil engineering, engineering management, or business administration as a possible graduate degree. Job prospects, job prospects for construction engineers generally have a strong cyclical variation. For example, starting in 2008, continuing until at least 2011, job prospects have been poor due to the collapse of housing bubbles in many parts of the world. This sharply reduced demand for construction, forced construction professionals towards infrastructure construction and therefore increased the competition faced by established and new construction engineers. This increased competition, 
and a core reduction in quantity demand is in parallel with a possible shift in the demand for construction engineers due to the automation of many engineering tasks, overall resulting in reduced prospects for construction engineers. In early 2010 the United States construction industry had a 27% unemployment rate, this is nearly three times higher than the 9.7% national average unemployment rate. The construction unemployment rate is comparable to the United States' 1933 unemployment rate, the lowest point of the Great Depression, of 25%. Remuneration, the average salary for a civil engineer in the UK depends on the sector, and more specifically the level of experience of the individual. A 2010 survey of the remuneration and benefits of those occupying jobs in construction in the built environment industry showed that the average salary of a civil engineer in the UK is a £29,582. In the United States, as of May 2013, the average was $85,640. The average salary varies depending on experience. For example the average annual salary for a civil engineer with between 3 and 6 years experience is a £23,813. For those with between 14 and 20 years experience the average is a £38,214. See also, architectural engineering, building officials, civil engineering, construction estimating software, construction management, cost overrun, cost engineering. Earthquake Engineering, EPC, International Building Code, Structural Engineering, Work Breakdown Structure, Index of Construction Articles, References The Book of Knowledge Engineering In the New Book of Knowledge Danbury, Connecticut, Grolier Incorporated Engineering Technology, DO Undergraduate Programs, Construction Engineering, Technology Retrieved from HTTP Catalog and JIT Edu programs construction and PHP, a bet accrediting college programs in applied science, computing, engineering and technology. Retrieved from HTTP, www.abet.org/consistency transmitter for construction industry.